Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today we will learn about how to perform a badge autodoc vena, how to perform more than 100 ligands uh, docking. Uh, if you have if you have more than 100 ligands and you want to dock with the receptor, uh, you don't need to run one by one. You need uh, you can run uh, in a one run. Okay, how is that possible? How you can perform the badge docking? Uh, you need for this you need Autodoc Vena that I hope you have already installed, and you need the Perl. Uh, the Perl can be downloaded from this link. Uh, I am I am showing you the link. This is Perl website. Uh, I know most of the people are using the Windows version, so they can download the Perl from here version seven. Uh, just uh, download and install in your computer okay keep in mind that uh, uh, after installation installation uh, there is no icon on your desktop so it will also in install in your uh, C drive so how to check that uh, Vena is in uh, sorry Perl is installed in your uh, computer or not open the cmd command to check whether the perl is installed in your computer or not so write here a command perl dash v so you are watching here that the perl is installed the perl 5 version 14 is already installed in the computer so if there is no error it means perl is installed correctly it will not give any uh, short shortcut icon on the desktop like other softwares like MGL tool or some others so what you need next you need uh, next uh, vena uh, window.pl this is uh, you need to inst uh, download from this link I have told you I will also given uh, give uh, this link in the description so okay follow that okay this is the link I, I told you I will also give in the description so <clears throat> what I will do the next I will go in the folder where I will perform the page docking guys you need your ligand number of ligand for example i have taken here the five ligand molecules and one receptor and you need here the vena executive executable file vena license vena split and vena underscore windows dot pl uh, this is a pl type a file type is pl which you have downloaded from the link which i have provided you so make sure these files should be uh, in your computer in the file in the folder from where you are running the batch docking so from where you will take this vena vena license and vena split go to the c directory where you have installed uh, your vena the script research institute here you will go vena here you can vena vena license and vena split uh, this vena 2 is my uh, another version of vena that is 1.2 so i will use here the 1.1 uh, so vena vena license and vena split so these three files you can copy from here and paste into the folder where you are performing the batch docking so i have already done that to keep uh, to save the time so next what you have to do uh, you have to you have to make uh, two files that are configuration file configuration underscore vs file not only the conf configuration file underscore vs is must because in the vena underscore windows the script file contains uh, the configuration file in the name conf underscore vs so like uh, vena uh, if you already know how to perform the vena docking you already know that uh, you have to keep these things to perform the autodoc vena 
just you can observe here i didn't written over here the ligand so why i didn't uh, wrote the ligand over here because i want to perform all these ligand ligand 5 uh, I, I i want to perform these ligand in one batch so i will keep i will not write uh, the ligand molecule over here so i will make i will make the separate file i want i am saving uh, this file as save as and just save this file as ligand dot text and remove remove these files this file should be empty ligand dot text file should be empty and now we will uh, now if you have i have only five molecules i can directly uh, mention the name of the ligands ligand one dot pdb qt ligand two dot pdb qt uh, all the five molecule i can put here uh, manually but uh, you have uh, if you have more than 100 molecules so it's, it's not possible to uh, manually put the molecules okay uh, so i will close this file now you can see the ligand uh, dot text molecule do not contain any uh, ligand input so this is uh, there is a command how you will do that uh, just open the cmd command in the current folder just write the, this uh, script b lichen dot text uh, by using this command all the ligand molecule or all the or oh sorry all the uh, all the files names will be copied in the ligand.txt folder uh, here you can see here you can see everything has been copied in this uh, file ligand file so i need to, to i need to remove this i will only keep the ligand molecule and i will delete rest of them i don't need that I only want to keep the ligand list. So I have uh, five uh, ligand molecules. So I will keep these molecule over here and I will delete the rest of the things. So I have saved the file. So what is next? You need to open the directory. I have already opened the directory cmd command. okay now what you will do now we you will uh, now you will operate the perl win, uh, vina windows dot pl perl vina underscore windows dot pl so when you will when you will uh, write the perl vina windows dot pl so perl is reading the windows underscore uh, vina underscore windows dot pl file so uh, if you will not install the perl you will not able to uh, execute the window uh, vina underscore windows dot pl so now uh, it is asking the ligand file so what is our ligand file ligand file that contains the our ligand molecules the name of the ligand molecule so i am putting here the name of the ligand uh, file ligand dot text so i will uh, just enter so i want to check what is the problem here and why it is showing this error okay i'm sorry uh, for that because i didn't used i didn't use the so guys here uh, there is an error uh, 
it is saying that uh, couldn't open six year region dot pdb query i'm sorry for that because i i need to correct the name in configuration file that is receptor dot pdb query i have already done that because okay now i will i will again run the command i will run perl vina windows dot pl login dot text so now you can see uh, here first autodoc vina read our login names and then it is performing the docking one by one you don't need to uh, give the command again and again so it is very easy uh, guys you don't need to do anything uh, difficult if you have any question you can comment in the box but keep in mind you have to keep the vina underscore windows dot pl file that i have provided the link you can download from there you need vina split vina license and vina in the folder from where you are performing your dash docking Meanwhile, it is performing one by one. Let me tell you one uh, another tip: how to how to split the output file of the doc. For example, if you have given the number of run ten, split under uh, score vina. So I will use the vina underscore split command. to separate the each confirmation for example here you can see another uh, run ligand 2 is uh, running over here and ligand 1 is completed and ligand output file is here ligand 1 output file is here ligand 2 is running so i can keep uh, i can use this file to split for example this contain as i have shown you then in the configuration file we have given the number of mode 10 so uh, this output file contains 10 confirmation so how to separate these confirmations so i will use the vina split application how to use the vina split application let me show you i will copy this uh, this one vina split in a license and vina in another folder in order to although it is uh, different from the bash docking but i am i want to make sure uh, that the time should not be wasted so i will make here another folder in a split so i am putting over here in a split so i jab what i will do just i want to separate these 10 confirmation in the out dot pdb qt file how i will do uh, just write cmd and directly you will go into the uh, current directory where you are working in a split so what you will do over here just write vina underscore split here it is saying that you need the these informations what you need you need input what is your input your input will be Uh, this pdb qt 
so what I will do is here Vina underscore split again Lagin one underscore out dot edd qt so I am just giving the input file uh, I am sorry I have missed one thing input login one underscore out dot edd qt So it is saying the prefix for the ligand will be ligand out. So you can see over here ligand 1, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, total number of confirmations are 10. So you have separated all these 10 confirmations. You can uh, directly use in uh, forming the complex with the receptor. You don't need to. Uh, go for pymol or some other software uh, to make the complex you can directly on, now this is only a one ligand you can convert this pdb qt file in pdb and you already have your receptor in pdb and just save them in a complex form so you can uh, you can uh, save that file for your analysis so so guys here you have the seen that the docking is lagging 4 and 5 have been performed so guys uh, this is the end here you have let me show you the folder what is here you can see all the output output files for the all the ligand are available so the docking has been performed uh, i didn't tell here how to how to make the pdbqt file or some other things you uh, people know that i have just I have just told I want to just told you that how to perform the batch docking okay I hope so uh, you people have fully understood what I was telling telling you so thank you very much for watching